trying to avoid zero and three, and they start off with the wrong foot right now as we look at some of the highlights. Ang ganda nung laban natin. It is marred by some major errors for Cherry Tigo, but they still have a chance in, in this set towards the end. Pa din. Yun nga, nag-start sila na maganda, tapos in the middle, okay, lumamang pa sila, pero patapos ng set, dun na, nahirapan na silang lumamang sa uh, Flying Titans. And sa, um, yung errors nila, bakit natin, they had 12 errors wow. for the first set. That's a lot na. One set na, nabanggit mo, na dapat nag, uh, baka nag-average siya na ng 9, pero ngayon, naka-12 sila on that set. There are too much service errors, and then, um, yung attacks nila, 8 points lang versus, uh, sorry, 12 points lang ng Cherry versus 8 ng Choco Mucho. And, but mas madaming block points dito yung Choco Mucho with 3 and 1 ng um, Cherry Tigo. But you saw serving department naman, both teams had two service aces. So to speak, in that second set, I like what uh, my partner said earlier that the aura changed, the body language changed, and with that, the way they played changed the skill side of it, the, the technical side of it. Kasi nag-iba rin yung aura nila. Take me through that second set. Yeah, we saw the latter part of the, sec uh, of the second set. Ang ganda nga nung teamwork na pinakita nung crossovers. Nag-enjoy nag sila sa game na yun. Yung teamwork nila, kitang-kita, yung mga adjustments. Hindi na sila masyadong tense or tight kung tutuusin. Dahil ang napako na yung uh, Flying Titans sa 16 on the second set. Na talagang bumulusok na yung uh, scores na uh, Choco Mucho. And I think we need to highlight na ang laki ng binawas ng um, errors ng, Choco Mo, uh, ng Cherry Tigo from 12 errors ng first set. Ngayong second set, Three na lang, tatlo. At malaking difference yun para uh, mapanalo nila. 25-17 in set number three. Tell me, Paneng, what did you see? Tita natin dun sa set three na yung uh, Flying Titans talaga gusto nilang makabawi from their loss nung uh, second set. And kita natin yung body language. Nag-enjoy sila lahat ng mga points. Sine-celebrate nila. The coverage was there, kahit mapa solid block man yung bin, uh, nahukuha ng Cherry Tigo. Maganda din yung mga sets na binibigay ni Dina Wong na minsan, or actually madalas, nagsisingle blockers lang yung mga spikers niya. But on the side of Cherry Tigo naman, nakita natin na lumaki na naman yung mga errors nila nung uh, third set. Para on the first set, they had 12, and then nung second set, naging 3. But no set three naman, nine errors. This match, yung last sets natin, last three sets natin, medyo tambakan, quote-unquote tambakan, compared to the first set. Yung bawian nila, uh, malalaki ang mga labang. But the important thing here for Cherry Tigo is they have another chance to get on the board in terms of the win column uh, here in 2-8. Right, um, yung standing sila ngayon, so far, they're winless, they're um, second sila sa bottom. So, if they want to um, get the win, tuloy-tuloy lang nila yung uh, lesson, yung errors nila. Because yun na yung palagi natin binabanggit from the first set, 12 errors from Cherry. The second set, tatlo lang. Nung third set, lumaki ulit sa nine. But ngayong fourth set, nagbawasan ulit nila and na... Uh, Four, uh, four errors lang yung meron sila. But on the side of uh, Choco, Choco Mucho naman, dun lumaki yung errors nila. Nag-9 versus 4. And it's not, you know, you, but you know this as a player. A lot of players can score points. But it's the timing of the point sometimes. And there was a stretch where he scored, she scored three straight points in that fifth set. That really got, because uh, they were behind in that yeah. segment of the, of the match, and they got them going, got them over the hump. Right, and hindi lang magagaan na palo yung binigay na doon ni Kato Lentino. It was a huge booster for the team because the hard spikes and even yung drop ball niya in the latter part yeah, of the set. Yeah, that's so, good. Uh -oh, and she also mentioned the teamwork of the team, uh, the of the Flying Titans. It, it was not her lang na solely siya lang gumagawa ng puntos. You have to give credit sa defense and sa coverage ng buong team, sa mga sets ni Dina Wong. And also, yung Bea De Leon, her quick <laughs> attacks, di ba? Wow, what a, what's, what a substitution. Uh oh, now we're looking at the match summary. 
the attack points, mas madami pang pinakawala ng attack ang Cherry Tigo with 63 and 51 of the Flying Titans. But the block points, ang laki ng difference ng block points ng Titans with uh, Flying Titans with 15 versus 5 ng Cherry Tigo. And yung sa Aces, pantay lang sila. And even sa Errors, you know, 30 and 31, uh, malaki na yung nababawi ng errors ng Cherry Tigo for, from the previous test up until the fifth set. But yun na nga, it was the veterans of the Flying Titans and the teamwork that helped them win that game.